Howdy folks, John here, doing some DIY maintenance on our little Boxster 986 coming out of winter storage here in the next few weeks and I've got to access the engine compartment. To do that you have to put it into what's called service mode, so I thought I'd just do a quick little video showing you what that's about. I've got to get into both the top of the engine compartment and the front. The whole process starts inside the car, let's get into it. So the first step to put a 986 into service mode is to open the convertible top roughly 10 to 12 inches, essentially so the clamshell is at its maximum opening angle. And this also slackens the convertible top material so you can pop those little tensioning ball cables off on either side. With the clamshell open to its uh, maximum opening angle, it's easy to access the back here now. So we just have to pop off the tensioning cables for the convertible top. They're just on these little ball linkages here. And they just snap off. Sorry if this is a little bit shaky, but there's the ball and there's the other end. You don't have to snap the other end off down at the bottom. You just have to do the one side. And then this fabric cover here, uh, it's just locked into position. There's this plastic channel on the back and there's just these little hooks you have to snap it out of. And you have to do the same thing on the other side. With the other tension cable unpopped and the fabric cover unclipped on the other side, you can now fold the back of the convertible top up. I just like taking the fabric cover and just folding it over the back of the convertible top. And then you can just fold this all the way up, usually up to here. The reason I can't do it on our little 986 the early 986s, what was it, up to 2002, I believe, they had the vinyl window. Now, I have replaced the convertible top with an aftermarket one that has the glass window. And I would do this again in a heartbeat. This has been such a huge improvement. Even though the glass window is a little bit shorter, the vinyl window went up a few inches higher. But at least you can see out of the glass. That vinyl window of ours was getting so foggy. I polished a few times to try to keep it clear, but they were just a pain in the ass. And of course, anyone who's got a Boxster with a vinyl window, when it's cold out, before you can even open the top, you have to get out of the car, give it the old boxy chop, so you start the fold seam in it so it doesn't crack when you open it. Just a pain. You know, it's even got the defrost grids on this one, so you can see out of it in the cool weather. But there is one issue with it, and that is that you cannot fold it all the way back. The glass window actually prevents it from folding right up. Now, it's a cost-benefit thing for the few times I have to get into the engine bay in a year. You know, just having a little bit less room in here is really no big deal compared to the numerous daily times that the glass window pays for itself many times over, in my opinion. So I've just built a little uh, latch system to pull this out of the way and I'll just install that so you can see what that's about if you happen to have a glass window or you're thinking of upgrading. So I just use a little tie down strap and it's just holding the back here as far up as it possibly can. You know I don't have this thing tightened right up but just enough to fold this out of the way and it's essentially at the same angle as the clamshell. It limits access a little bit, but it's not bad at all. And again, I've just used a little hook on the back of this hold down strap. And then I just hook it over the front of the convertible top. Nothing really to it. And that's just my method. There may be other ways to do it. Again, this is only if you have an aftermarket glass top that doesn't fold all the way back. If you've got a later model 986, with the glass window that has a different mechanism, it will fold right back. And of course, if you've got the vinyl window, it will also fold back. You don't have to worry about any of this. So we've just got to get the top cubby box off now. It's really simple. There's just these two little screw buttons on each side. Hopefully we can, and you just turn it quarter turn and then pull it up. And then this will lift right off. I've got the uh, rear speaker kit in here though, so I've also got some wiring that I have to pull out. There's the wiring connector here. And you just pull it out like so. 
And then this whole thing comes out. Now we have to get the foam sound insulating cover off. Again, just two of those clips, you turn them quarter turn. She's like an onion, many <laughs> layers. Final cover to take off. So the, this is just held on by these five turnbuckles. There's three on the front, and then there's two here on the back. And they just turn counterclockwise, about half a turn, you'll hear them unpop. So common maintenance items through the top access cover here would include obviously the air filter, which is over there, checking the power steering fluid level, and cleaning out the throttle body. Air pump is right here as well. Air oil separator is back in here. I'm going to show you one other access point to get to the front of the engine, and for that we have to go back inside the car. So if you need to get to the front of the engine to access the auxiliary belt and all the different drive components, you have to take this carpeted cover off. This is also a sound insulator. There's these little plastic screw buttons. There's four of them and they just unscrew. You can usually do it by hand. So they are just a little plastic button. I've already done the two on that side. Should mention I've got both the front seats both folded forward and slid as far forward as possible to get as much room out. So once you get all those off, this just kind of lifts off. And then you will just have to pull it out. That's all there is to it. And then uh, here's the little access cover. These are all 10 millimeter. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and then two more nuts here. So nine fasteners all together. <laughs> This will just pull out like so. So with that inner access service cover removed, uh, the main DIY maintenance type things that most people are going to be doing, obviously one is replacing the serpentine auxiliary drive belt. You would do that through here. And the other two things that I've done through here, I've had to replace the alternator once already in this vehicle. That was very easy to access through this port. And then down at the bottom here, right at the bottom, there's our water pump. I'm going to have a video on that coming up shortly. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of access room that you can even reach to the top of the engine components between the roll bar cage and the body. So hopefully that demonstrated how you put a 986 into service mode and will help you out when you're doing maintenance on your own 986. Thanks for watching, folks. We'll see you next time when we get to the water pump.